the Grand Opera House is known to be one of the most haunted places in Northeast Wisconsin. Many stories have arisen out of the building, like the ghost of an old stage manager, Percy Nee, watching from the balcony, or even watching people pass by on High Street. Another common thing said is the spirits of a stage boy who had fallen into a coal bin likes to play tricks on the people in the building trying to find a paranormal experience. Lastly, actors have said they looked into their dressing room mirrors to see someone behind them, but really, they are the only person in the room. Oshkosh was once a town full of lumberjacks and loggers. One night, a man and his son walked home from town carrying a rocking chair that they had bought that day. They rested within the trees on their chair as a drunk pair of men approached them looking for a fight. The man was sadly killed as his son hid under the boardwalk, witnessing it all. For years after, travelers have said that they have been able to hear the creaking rocking chair and groans of a dead man. Some reports have still been given to this day. The New Moon Cafe was once a hotel that suffered from two major fires, one killing a young bellboy. It is said by workers and cooks at the cafe that kitchen equipment is sometimes thrown across the room unexplainably, and they feel tugging on the back of their shirts. Miss Page, a wealthy lady also killed in the hotel, is rumored to be walking around the lobby in wealthy clothing. West Algoma, now Oshkosh on Lake Winnebago, was a city for the families of lumberjacks to spend their winters huddled away. It was said that this city was interrupted in the winter nights by a towering figure dressed in a black cloak. Every night by the minute, he would emerge from the one side of town and walk, cane in hand, into the night, talking to absolutely no one. Once, a boy ran up to the man. He described his hiding face as expressionless of life. Once the husbands returned home from the spring, the man was not seen. Some say he could have been protecting the families, but no one will ever know.